And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing a killer round today, and we're playing as a trapper who we have not played as too recently. Uh, taking a quick look at his perks again, we're playing with Nurses Calling to help us find injured survivors, corrupt intervention to block off generators furthest away from us and push them into our territory, unnerving presence, which will give them harder skill checks when they're in my terror radius, and Hex Ruin, which I haven't been playing with him, but we're going to try it with him Again, to try to get some slowdown in the game. We have a stitch bag to allow us to carry some extra bear traps and the honing stone. So if a survivor steps in a trap and then they free themselves, they will go into the dying state. Uh, we don't have very many of either the bag or the stones. So we are using one of our black wards to hold on to them. I had had, uh, I had, had the uh, distressing to go with unnerving presence to increase my terror radius to trigger those skill checks a little bit more often. And I don't know that it wasn't working, but, oh, we're going to Haddonfield apparently. Um, I don't know that it wasn't working. I do know that it was, I, I it was, it wasn't that it wasn't working because I've had some really good rounds as a trapper, but with the trapper, it's so important to not get gen rushed in the very beginning. Corrupt Intervention will definitely help that a little bit, but also with Ruin, if we know that they're going to be on certain generators, as long as they don't find the Ruin early, us just pushing them off the generator will save me the time for kicking it and start regressing it immediately. So I'm hoping that that maybe works to my advantage more than the possibility of causing them to have more frequent skill checks that are going to be tougher to hit. We'll see. Um... Ruin's pretty much a staple of most of the killers I play with. And I will say on Haddonfield, there is no killer shack. There are long fences for survivors to loop around. So, we're going to try to see if we can find a few places here to lay some traps that might not be where they normally would expect them to be. Why can't I put a trap here? Really? I can't put a trap here? I think I know I can. All right, we'll put it right there. Hopefully, maybe, if nothing else, somebody may think that that's just a poorly laid trap. Try to disarm it for points and find themselves uh Can we put one on the steps? Yes, we can. And, well, Ruin is gone, and we were barely into the match. I probably could have set a trap by my Ruin. That wouldn't have been terrible, but, uh, well, that's, uh, that is more than a little bit aggravating. I'm not going to lie. And, well, so much for Ruin coming into play in this game. Now, one thing as a trapper, you really don't want to set... Well. Wow. Alright, we're going to pick you up out of that trap. Get you on a hook to start. That's a nice early start. Really? Again, we'll see if anybody actually steps in that trap or not. It's a nice little trap right there. They were not, it's... They apparently were not expecting that trap to be laid there. I don't know exactly where everybody's at. They're not working on that generator. They are working on that one, however. <laughs> yep, hi, Claudette. Well. 
That trap up on the stairs is getting a lot of usage. I said, so the best part of that honing stone is that even when they get that trap, even when they're getting these traps disarmed on the bright spot, they're going to be in the dying state. Hey, we're just going to grab you out of that trap. Oh, and we have got a nice early start here. Gonna hang you there. And we're going to go ahead and reset that trap. And we're going to go reset that one upstairs, because that one upstairs has been getting a lot of play. We're basically have blocked that generator completely off at this point. That generator is going to be darn near impossible to get to. Well. Are you hiding around here, my friend? All right, one person off the hook there. Hey, we're gonna get you back up on that hook. This is, uh, like I said, this is a very good early start for us. Said so Haddonfield is a can be a problematic map. A couple generators in some awkward places. It's not a very big map, but like I said, there are definitely definitely fences. Well, that's not what we wanted to do. No. Oh, we didn't want to do that, though. And again, the problem is, is that they are, well, that person, that person had some assistance in getting out of that trap. Oh. You guys are all kind of here. That's a bit of a problem for you. Hi there. They did get that generator done. Oh, that's fine, Meg. That just means you're gonna go down too. That just means you're both gonna go down. Give me time to pick up that trap there. We'll reset that one there. There's your crawl too, little girl. Still gonna get you to a hook. It's just gonna be back here. May give Meg enough time to get picked up. Oh, she is uh she is toast. Where'd you crawl off to, Meg? Oh there you are. Hi. Meg, you disarmed that hook. That was very bad of you. That was very bad of you, Meg. Alright. Drop you right over here. And we'll just, uh... Let's drop a trap there for them to have to come around the long way. Gotten a couple generators done, but Meg is on, going to be on her second hook here. Is 
this trap just lying out here. I think we have time to come and pick it up. So the generator upstairs is going to be very tough for them to get to. This generator might be a little tough to get to. Oh, hi there. Ah, oh, we missed that. How did we miss that? I think that Meg is going to be dead on hooked. I don't think they're getting to her in time. Nope, they're not getting to her in time. Now we just have a David and a Claudette to worry about. David went along the back here. Where'd you go to, David? <laughs> Trying to hide behind those bushes. Now, there are traps laid out all over the place here. Where is he going to be headed? Oh, that was kind of sloppy, I'm not going to lie. That pallet there, where'd he go? Yes. <laughs> Saw him hiding behind the bench there. All right, where do we have a hook? Hey, we have a hook, I believe, that got disabled earlier. Irony. All right, I'm gonna drop you there. I'm gonna leave that trap right there, because that's kind of in a nice area. That trap is on that wall, so if Claudette tries to go get him off that hook, <laughs> she tries to get him off that hook. She might try to loop us around that little hedge. If she does, well, that'll be the end of that. Or could the Claudette just be letting him die? That's a very legitimate possibility at this point as well. Nope. Nope, she got him off. The question is... Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, wouldn't be a me match unless I swung and missed at some point. All right. I'm going to take you. Basement here? Oh, well, that's a, bar that's a problem. Ah, uh, uh, well. Hey, here's the problem. That Claudette. That Claudette is going to be down. Uh, we're going to step in that. We heard him go into a locker here, so. Unless that Claudette has unbreakable. Well, let's go, let's go take care of her first. Oh, there he is. Where is he? Ah. Oh. Really? All right. The problem is we don't have a hook up here. Oh, the Claudette is up. Oh, that apparently did have unbreakable. It says, can we get you to a hook? I'm 
time. We got you. Ah, uh, stuck on the bush. Yep. Stuck on the bush. Oh, this match got sloppy in a hurry, unfortunately. We had David basically dead on hook. And he's smart. He's going to keep running back here where we don't have any. Where we don't have any traps, but what we do have is a good sense of hearing. David, we heard that locker. And unfortunately, this time, there is a hook right here. This one I can get you to. All right. Like I said, we kind of had ourselves boxed into a corner. And we wasted time. If we honestly had just left David down there, we could have found the Claudette who stepped in that trap upstairs. Oh, I hear a hatch. All right, well, this is what we're going to do. We are going to go. and trap this exit gate over here. We know the Claudette has unbreakable because she should have been in the dying state by freeing herself from that other trap. And that means she's not gonna be able to use it again. All right, so the hatch is closed. The hatch is closed. Now, the question is, did I set those traps correctly? <laughs> oh, I see her over there. Yeah. I see you, Claudette. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the problem. As long as I set that other trap correctly. Yeah, that's the hatch. Unless you have a key, you're not getting out that way. She may just be hiding till the end game gets her. Because she knows already she went into the dying state the first time around with that trap. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen here. That, uh, that honing stone is going to be what gets us the kill. I'm not sure where she is. She's not giving me the satisfaction of, uh, of getting her out of one of these. But, oh, well, there it is. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Well, that trap wasn't set well enough. She teabagged. Hey, Claudette. Well, I'm not going to say that that's not, that that's not uh, typical Claudette behavior, but uh, that's kind of that's typical of the Claudette behavior I have. A teabag as the end game kills her. Now, she disarmed that trap by herself, or if she disarmed it. So she didn't step in it. So that's why she didn't, that's why she did not, uh, I'm com was confusing my honing stone with the bloody coils. The bloody coils will, will actually, uh, will actually injure you if you disarm it. So what was happening was, and that's why the Claudette did not have unbreakable. The Claudette did not have unbreakable. She simply disarmed that trap at the top of the stairs. But it's interesting because I'm wondering what was she doing while I was having all that trouble with the David in the corner when I couldn't find the hook and I couldn't get a David to the hook. What exactly was she doing? I'm not really sure. Uh, let's take a look at their perks real quick. Um, I always like to try to figure out how many of these people were playing solo queue and how many of these people may have been playing together. I see, again, I see a multiple dark senses which allow them when generators are done to see my aura which is really bad as the trapper you don't want anyone seeing you setting traps 
I'm more than guessing that that trap up at the top of the stairs, they may have been tipped off to it by having that perk. And at some point, a generator was repaired, and one of them, one of these two, may have seen me setting the trap at the top of the stairs. But in any case, uh, like I said, the Claudette was uh, had actually not stepped in that trap upstairs, which is why she didn't go into the dying state. She didn't have unbreakable. Like I said, I was using the Honing Stone, which will inflict the dying state upon anyone who steps in a trap if they free themselves, which happened in at least a couple instances in the very beginning of the match in particular. But at the same time, also what, what happens is there's uh, bloody coils, and I've used that before, and bloody coils, if you disarm a trap, will injure you. And that's, I was mixing the two up there when I thought the Claudette was going to be down. But in any case, uh, we didn't do too badly considering we played with three perks and they found Ruin immediately. Uh, those early people stepping in those traps and freeing themselves and putting themselves in the dying state, that helped tremendously. That helped us to, to get the match going quickly in our favor. We had somebody dead almost immediately. And from that point, everything kind of snowballed from there. So in whatever the case may be, whether or not they were playing as a team or they were all playing by themselves, uh, yeah, you know what? It was, uh, it was a good effort on their part, but once the trapper gets going early, he can snowball, and that's kind of what happened in that match. So even a little bit of my potato moves at the end, not being able to get that David on a hook there at the very end and almost losing him a couple times out of my clumsiness and then not being able to find him and then stepping in my own trap. Well, it wouldn't be one of my killer rounds without at least some of those shenanigans going on if you've watched any of the channel. But hey, still learning, still kind of new at the game, still getting back into the swing of things. So uh, it, mistakes will be made and you'll be able to see plenty of them. As long as you hit the like and subscribe button and keep checking back as we do do new Dead by Daylight videos on a daily basis, usually one in the morning and one in the evening. Hoping to maybe branch out into some other games as well in the future. I ask that you please keep, keep checking back with us. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in our next Dead by Daylight.